Next question is from Bauer Physical Culture. What do you think of functional bo bodybuilding programs? What is this now? So, yeah, it's it? a new name for everything. I know. I, so I'm assuming what they mean is a bodybuilding kind of aesthetic focused uh, program that also places some emphasis on making you mobile and functional. Because bodybuilding is- Oh, you mean mass performance? <laughs> yeah, yeah, with maps like aesthetic? With yeah, maps mass performance I mean, this maps is, aesthetic. Oh, I mean, this is, this, when we wrote all the maps programs, I mean, here's a time, to, let's make this clear, because I know our audience, not everybody's on the private forum where we discuss things like this all the time. Uh, when we wrote all these programs, they weren't designed like, you can't ever deviate from them. They're designed so you go through them. We tell, when we tell everybody, like, follow it to a T at least one time. After you do that, if you, especially if you own multiple, they're very moldable and you can take things that you you think your body needs more of from one program than the other. And an example of this functional bodybuilding program literally looks like MAPS Aesthetic is the programming and instead of focus days, you run mobility, mobility. days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, then you literally have functional bodybuilding right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because one of the, so the benefits of bodybuilding are it's great for connecting to individual muscle groups. So mind to muscle connection, nothing beats bodybuilding, right? It's very aesthetic focused, meaning you can sculpt and shape your body, uh, kind of like a sculptor with bodybuilding type programs, more so than you can with other resistance training type uh, workouts. Now, what are the drawbacks of training that way? You do lose some of that functional ability because you're so focused on sculpting the body from a visual standpoint, you don't focus as much on movement. And so you might not have the same functional ability as someone who goes to the gym and says, and say, works out more like, a strong man or more like an athlete. They're going to just have more of that strength translate to the real world. Now, here's why I think for the average person, functional bodybuilding, I didn't even know that term existed, but let's just, you know, from what we're saying here, here's why I think functional bodybuilding is the best way for most people to work out. Number one, because most people want those aesthetic changes. But number two, the functional component prevents injury. And here's my argument. If you improve your mobility, you'll make the bodybuilding exercises more effective anyway, right? So yeah. if you're, you know, you're doing your barbell rows, your overhead presses and your barbell squats and that's part of your body, bodybuilding routine, does improving your range of motion, your mobility in those exercises make those exercises build your shoulders, your back and your legs better? Absolutely. So functional bodybuilding is probably if you just want to build your aesthetics, that's the way you should do it to yeah. really maximize the effect of those Part exercises. Part of me wonders if, if you could just categorize it as like full range of motion emphasis, like mm -hmm. with like hypertrophy style training. So mm -hmm. like it's just, I, I feel like some of that uh, gets lost when you get um, really focused on machines and, and really trying to get the squeeze and the pump and, and you're not quite as focused on full body type, you know, compound lifts. Well, yeah, what's hard about that is that most bodybuilding exercises are sagittal plane. So we, that too. you're not doing a lot of, and you're not doing a lot of unilateral work. You're not doing a lot of, not a lot of rotating. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. So that's that, I mean, I love this. This is actually okay. It, it kind of how I run most of the time. Cause I love bodybuilding training. I just, I, 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 out of us three, I probably gravitate to that the most. So I typically do that, but I also have seen the tremendous benefit of training mobility because because there was a while there where I was all about that where all of my training looked more like mass performance and mobility focus or even prime and prime pro so I like to do a hybrid I love to train most of the time like a bodybuilder but then I know the importance of integrating all these mobility type of drills in there and what it's done for me so I would say this is exactly how I train right now I just don't have a term for it I just call it you know maps aesthetic meets our maps performance